Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to another Desmos Craft tutorial. So last time uh, we, we got an eater going, and uh, I want to continue uh, adding character features. So at this time I want to get started with the nose. So just a note on the ear, it's not the best looking, but since we're working with with uh, with equations with fixed shapes, uh, there's only so much we can do with them. And also, so this is one of those things like, that look better when you hand draw it with a pen and paper or pencil and paper. So with the ear, I, I um, so uh, I was planning before I recorded this. So I want, so I want the ear to be right at, right at this point where, uh, where the top half meets the bottom half. And uh, for the, so uh, the first shape that I want to use, I still want to use sine inverse. I tried using cosine inverse, but but uh, um, cosine inverse. So since the cosine is uh, shifts to the right by by uh, pi over two, um, this one. So the inverse inverse shifts up by pi over two. So so if you want to use arc cosine or, or a inverse cosine, uh, you're gonna have to subtract another pi over four. I said it's a pi over two. It's actually pi over four. It is pi over two. My bad. Um, so, uh, so center is at 13 and I want to subtract another 0 0.625 and uh, I also want to subtract another 0 0.5 Oh, but then this and this thing is scaled by scale to zero point four. Okay. Um. So in that case, we give some. We we'll to try a few things out. So right now I'm at. Four eight eight one. So I want to subtract. This looks like I, I want to subtract uh, another zero point one five six. Things are not working out. You know what? I'm just going to stick with this one. Um, it's not always too much of your time. And then, uh, well, of course, I want to shrink this down. So I want to use a similar scale for this one. So this is, so I use 1 over 40 pi. I'm going to try 1 over 20 pi. And then um, bring it down some more. Okay, and then uh, I need to multiply this whole thing by what's 80, so I'm gonna do 40. Right now I'm just experimenting with numbers. I have no real Okay, I want to, I want to do what I what I did last time, which is uh, I'm I'm going to uh I'm going to uh, make a cut and 
and then I'll uh, show you what values I got for this one. Right, and we're back, and uh, I, I tried the values. Um, so it turns out that, um, so I shifted over by, uh, by 13 and then shifted to right by another 0 0.18. And, uh, and then I moved it down by another 0 0.525. Um, first one, uh, it doesn't really matter if you want to set the bounds or not, uh, since it's okay if, if you start drawing the nose, like, in, by a little bit inside. Um, also kind of playing around with this one too, because I, I, I don't want, I don't want this nose to be, uh, to be too big, and, and then, uh, you know, go down to the comp section and then, and, uh, comping on. How big this person's nose is, how big I made it. Uh, so, so for for things like these, uh, I'm not because I, I don't want to waste too much of our time just experimenting with values and and to say, oh yeah, just use these values. I'm showing you how to graph a nose. That is essentially the the whole point of this video that I'm making right here. So I'll show you how to how to make a nose. Um, so uh, so the set of equations I'm going, I'm I'm using is so first I'm using an inverse sine function and I'm going to pick it up with the uh, uh, with a small half circle. So with this one, uh, we're, gonna we're first going to take note what this point is. Um, so it's negative twelve point eight one. And then uh, it's minus 0 0.55. And as for radius, see, try to use an easy number. So it's that uh, it's easy to calculate. That's too small. Zero point zero zero eight looks fine, um, which means so uh, so this circle has radius of zero point zero zero eight. Uh, that's why I put the one in parentheses first and then square it so I can just use this number as and this number as reference. So which means I want to shift it to the left by another zero point zero zero eight, and then you can just write plus zero point zero zero eight. Or uh, whatever radius you chose. And then, um, and uh, I want to finish off this nose with like with um, just another trick function. I want to I want to use I want to use cosine of x just to vary things up because I already have two sines over here. So I just want to use cosine. So just to finish things off for uh, for this recording, say y equals cosine of x. Um, see, cosine of x is come to think of it, cosine of x is a, is a good equation of choice because then and uh, the flat point you can just Pick what point it is. It's going to be x plus twelve point eight one. Oops. So first, we're going to shift it by. So we're going to use the same transformation for for this equation right here. So we add twelve point eight one. And then add another 0 0.008. That's if you're following along. 
And then uh, we're also gonna subtract by subtract the uh, zero point five five. Okay. And uh, now it start uh, reducing your amplitude. So point one over forty pi seem seem to have worked. So I want to stick with that. And uh, this one, okay, looks like I need to compress it a little more. That looks good. And then uh, I want to Okay, I like this one better. Okay, afterwards you want to align this point. You know, you want uh, I want to have this point touch the very end of this point. Um, so I want to do one last cut, and uh, and to summarize um, what we did all together. All right. Um, so so I, uh, so it turns out that. Um, and for my particular case, uh, we needed to you know, comp to uh, shrink this graph down by a little more. Um, so, so the key takeaway for uh, for this function is uh, is um, we adjust the horizontal shift and uh, and the vertical shift to get this point to align with this with the um, with our half circle point. And uh, so I set the bounds along the way. Uh, if you want, want more, if you want, uh, you want more more line, then uh, you can just continue doing that. Um, also, finally, oh uh, yeah, just just uh, get these lines to whatever color you're using. Um, So this is how to graph graph um, the side view of the nose. Uh, next week, we're gonna be doing something familiar, which is the eyes. If you if you uh, if you watched my video on character features, it goes over how to do the eyes. Um, as for the eyebrow, it's gonna be just a line. Um, let's see. So for this, uh, uh, so if you want to draw a nose like this, um, the the functions that I use is the inverse cosine function, uh, half circle, and, uh, and and a cosine function. It is much much easier on a bigger scale. Like so, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I've already zoomed in to differences of zero point zero five. That's one twentieth. Yeah, so uh, so I hope that uh, that uh, when we go back to the, uh, the the bigger stuff, like when we start drawing trees, uh, it will it will be uh, it'll be easier to follow. Uh, I do apologize. This this probably seemed difficult for for you to follow. Um, if you have any confusions, just leave them down down in the comments. Or if you or uh, if you have suggestions. Like say, uh, if you want to take a break from this and work on on other things, uh, do say so. If you want to, if you want to uh, start work on the body instead of this, do say so. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna continue with with the. Uh, I'm gonna start doing the eyes next week. I'll see you then.